I'm like, didn't you see me pointing this weapon at you? Don't you know I could have shot you? And the man looks at me, and he, you know, he's speaking broken English. His English is very broken. He looks at me with a smile on his face, and he points his finger to the sky like this, and he says, I only fear Allah. One day I'm guarding this gate. Uh, you know, I'm armed up with my weapon guarding this gate. And this truck approaches. And the truck approaches and it gets closer to the gate. And I'm telling the truck to stop. I'm, I'm saying, stop, 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 telling the truck to stop. The truck stops, the driver gets out and he starts walking towards the gate. Well, I tell him, I say, you have to stop. You know, I'm yelling at him, stop, 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 stop. And the whole time he's coming at me, he has this smile on his face. So I'm thinking in my head, this man is crazy. This man is loony, he's out of his mind. I don't know what's wrong with him. Anyways, he continues to come closer and closer and closer. And by this time, I've pointed my weapon at him. I'm telling him I'm going to shoot and all this stuff. But something was telling me not to shoot. Something was telling me not to pull the trigger. So I didn't. And what happens is that he approaches me. And from his underarm, he produces his paperwork, telling him that it was okay for him to get in the gate. Well, in the conversation that I'm having with him, I'm telling him, you can't come into the gate. You're not welcome in the gate. And I'm like, didn't you see me pointing this weapon at you? Don't you know I could have shot you? And the man looks at me. And he, you know, he's speaking broken English. His English is very broken looks at me with a smile on his face and he points his finger to the sky like this and he says I only fear Allah so what happens is is that I come back out to California about October of 2011 and then I took my Shahada at uh, Farouk and in that sense you have to understand is that yes the truth is a little bit scary sometimes but it's still the truth you know and in doing that don't be afraid to go and visit uh, a mystery don't be afraid to talk to you to the Muslims that are around you do not believe what the media is telling you. That's rule number one. Don't believe what the media is telling you. Don't let anybody tell you that ISIS, the Taliban, represents Islam. Because if that's the case, then the KKK represents Christianity. And everybody knows that's not true. So don't let anybody tell you what Islam is until you go out and you do it for yourself. Research it for yourself.